Hey guys, today we're going to be making Keto Wonder Bread. Yeah, I know it looks like a chaffle, but this does not have any cheese in it, and it's perfect for sandwiches. Alright, so what we're going to need here is we're going to need just a little bowl to mix it in. You're not going to need a big bowl. And add in there one teaspoon of water. Um... And we are going to be using today my mini dash waffle maker, which is the perfect size that you need for burgers and sandwiches. So if you don't have one of these, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below. But any waffle maker will work just depending on the size that you're looking for. Alright, and we're also going to need for this almond flour and mayonnaise. Yes, I know. You'll see later. And you're going to need one large egg and some cooking spray for the waffle iron. Some melted butter. You don't have to include butter. A lot of people don't, but I've recently tried it and I like it. I also have a little bit of salt here and I'm using Himalayan salt. Baking powder. And I'm just going to use seasonings today. I'm going to use garlic powder and Italian seasoning. You can season it any way you want or you don't have to put any seasoning at all. I just like to try to cover up the egg taste. You can also use everything bagel seasoning, um, any kind of seasoning that you want. Um, let's go ahead and start with cracking one large egg into the bowl. And pour in your melted butter. The melted butter is cooled down, by the way. Do not put hot melted butter in with your egg, or your egg might cook a little bit, and you don't want that. But I feel like the melted butter kind of gets rid of the eggy taste a little bit, too. I haven't really seen many videos with people using the melted butter, um, so you can omit it if you want to, but I don't know. I think it kind of makes a difference on how it tastes. We're also going to need a cooling rack so that we can go ahead and put the Wonder Bread on there to cool down. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep mixing this and continue adding our ingredients now. Let's go ahead and add in 1 fourth teaspoon of baking powder. Alright, so now let's go ahead and add in our almond flour. You're going to add in three tablespoons of almond flour. And you guys, just so you know, there are so many different things that you can make with this Wonder Bread. You can make all kinds of desserts. You can use them for burgers, for sandwiches. You can even make a little personal pizza for yourself. And I will have videos coming up on all that kind of stuff. So make sure that if you want to know how to make these things, make sure that you do subscribe to the channel. And go ahead and hit that notification bell too. So let me show you. This is how the consistency is. That how it should look. Now this is really weird. I know a lot of you are going to be really skeptical on this ingredient. But trust me. It doesn't even alter the taste at all. Um, it's, does, it's tasteless in this. Okay. Um, I actually buy the store brand version. Because... I figured why waste my good mayonnaise on this when I can just buy the cheaper one and it really doesn't alter the taste at all because I've tried it with my craft with best foods you know I've tried it with all that so um, save some money and I actually specifically buy the store brand just for this and I keep it in the fridge and I only use it for this because I actually don't like it on sandwiches and things 
not the Walmart brand. I don't really care for it, but it's better than some. All right, and we're just going to go ahead and mix that in there. Make sure it's really well mixed in. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add in just a small pinch of salt. I am using pink Himalayan salt, but you can use any kind of salt that you want. You don't even have to put salt in it if you don't want to, but um, I would add in at least a small pinch of salt. And let's go ahead and add in our seasoning. I'm going to put in some garlic powder. Like I said, you can add any kind of seasonings you want. And we're going to do a little Italian seasoning because I am going to be using it for a sandwich. So for sandwiches, you know, you can, like I said, you can put in, make it Italian taste. You can make uh, everything bagel seasoning, um, anything that you want. And like I mentioned earlier, there's different desserts you can make. Um, you can add cinnamon to it if you're doing something, looking for something sweet. Um, you can add sweetener to it, or you could not. I do add a little sweetener in mine. Um, sometimes I don't, depending on what it's for. But in this case, I am going to go ahead and uh, add some sweetener to it, which I actually forgot to mention in the beginning of the video. So um, I'm going to grab some sweetener right now. And I'm not going to add in a lot. I'm going to add in a half a teaspoon. Um, you might even just want to do a fourth of a teaspoon. Um, depending on, you know, how sweet you want it. Um, for desserts, you might want to add in a little bit more. But we'll make videos on that. Don't you worry. Alright, so my mini dash is warmed up. And we're going to go ahead now and start pouring this in. This recipe does make two pieces of bread. These little mini dashes, they also come in different designs. They have one that um, has no design on it at all. So it would look like a pancake, say. Um, and then they have another one that's like a griddle. like uh, It just has straight lines in it. And I do have one of those also um, that I had got before this one. And I use them both f depending on what I'm making. Um, and normally for sandwiches, I don't use this one. Normally for sandwiches, I use the one with the straight lines, but it just depends. All right, so we got that in there and now all we got to do is wait. All right, now you see the lights on, there's no steam coming out, so we can assume that it's done now. Let's go ahead and open it up. And that is the perfect color that you want it. Now, depending on your liking, if you want it um, a little bit more, you can leave it in a little bit longer. Or you can take it out. It depends if you want to, um, you know, have it cook a little bit more. But check it out. This is how it looks. And um, this is going to be a good sandwich. And let's go ahead and pour the rest. Once you do the cooking spray at the beginning, when you put in the other one, the first batch you don't really need to spray it again it's still going to be nice and greasy and it's not going to get stuck to it um, so don't think that you have to spray it every time you add to it because you don't and just be careful when you fill this thing you definitely will have a mess if you overflow it so I just fill it to barely cover everything up and that will be plenty uh, sometimes it looks like you need more, but you don't. Alright, let's wait for this one. Look at this. Look how nice and soft but firm this is. It's not floppy at all. It's soft when you press it down. Alright, let's check on this one here. And looks like this one is done. Let's go ahead and put that on the cooling rack and we'll just let it cool. Unplug your dash. There is no on and off button on these, so you do need to plug it in to warm it up and unplug it to cool it down. And I'm just going to go ahead and let these cool. Let me show you up close here what they look like. And that's pretty much it, guys. We are pretty much done. There you go. You have your 
keto wonder bread um, use this for your burgers your sandwiches pizza you can make desserts um, so many different things that people use these for and I will be making videos on um, different ways that you can use this bread um, and then the same goes for truffles you can use them either way and that's pretty much it guys so this is the sandwich that I made out of this and it looks delicious and um, if you like this video please make sure you give it a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more recipes like this and I just want to say thank you for watching my video and I'll see you on the next one